right here we have my beautiful wife Haley. Uh, unfortunately, not quite beautiful enough for me. So let's get a couple more spouses. I'm gonna be needing a lot of these. So let's just go ahead and buy them up. All right, now we need to track down every spouse and we seem to have already found one. Boom, we're already dating Alex, nice. I don't actually really keep track of many of the male spouses or where they go. So I'm just gonna kind of check like every house where they could possibly be. Boom, Sam is dating us too. And I think Emily, everyone's favorite of the two sisters, should be in her room right now, unless I'm mistaken. Oh, it looks like I am. Maybe she's at work. Emily's one of the few people in this town with an actual job. Man, none of these people know how to work today, I tell ya, says the YouTuber. Well, it's open, so we can check. No, he's not clocked into work yet. That's weird. My goodness, Maru isn't home either? Where are all these people? Thankfully, Sebastian's here. Gosh, I tell you, all the female bachelors are hiding from me. I mean, half of the male ones are too, but kind of weird. You know, maybe I'll just head home and sleep a day so I can catch them right when, when they're coming out of bed. Okay, that sounded really bad, but I guess like this entire thing is really bad, so whatever. Oh yeah, since I have friends in this save, I have friends, incredible, I know. They're actually dating some people. I wonder what will happen when I try to date them. Well, off to bed. Well, here's Abigail. Oh, apparently we only have seven out of eight hearts with her. Let's try something that'll maybe make that a bit easier. Boom, no no rocks needed. She will date me, awesome. And Penny should be in here too. Oh, unfortunately she'll need the same treatment. All right, eight hearts and boom. That's five people dating. That leaves Emily, Shane, Harvey, Leah, Maru, Elliot, and that's all. I really am just now realizing how little I know about most people's schedules. I mean, I can probably find Harvey. Honestly, I forgot you could even date that guy. He's kind of a background character for me. Since I have the key, I can go in at any time and he'll probably be in his room. He's just come out of bed. Don't mind me, just gonna walk into your room and wow, he feels the same way. I'd probably be a little bit creeped out if some rainbow suit guy ran into my room at 6.50 a.m. and asked if I wanted to start dating him after I hadn't spoken to him for 13 years, but maybe Harvey is more easily charmed. Shane should actually be heading to work right about now, so if we kind of cut him off around here, we might be able to find him. Oh, he's in his room. Looks like he's just about to leave. Here you go, Shane. What a beautiful chat box. And conveniently, we're right near Leah's, so she lets us in her house, and boom, dating Leah as well. That leaves Maru Elliot. Don't mind me just gonna ride my horse across the water and through the walls. Right over this boat as well. Elliot is hiding away in his cabin as usual, and he wants the date. Perfect. Okay, the last target on our list is Maru. And perfect, she's home. All right, don't mind me, Robin. Hey, I just walked through your walls. Um, on a date? Wow, she does, actually. Okay, if I am correct, I believe that means everyone except Emily. Okay, now everyone is dating us. That's gonna require a little bit more mod menu. We can crank everyone up to a very nice... And we'll do Haley to 14 hearts because I'm feeling generous. Now that everyone loves us to the max, let's wait until it rains. Okay, it took how many days, but it's finally raining. And, oh great, we have a cutscene. I'm sorry, Shane, there are a lot of you guys. It's kind of hard to keep up with the emotions of everyone. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, a quick magical horse ride over to the beach and we can grab a critical item in this. Cross Elliot's house over this little river and it'll lead us to this guy. 5,000 gold per, and we can buy ourselves mermaid pendants, which, if you didn't know, let you marry people. I think 11 should be enough, but I'm feeling lazy, so I won't count to be 100% sure. And we'll use a shortcut and walk out. Oh wait, not quite. Oh wait, I thought you could like, oh, I could have sworn there's a shortcut up there where I could like. All right, it's raining, so most people should be home. Hey, we've been dating for a total of one day. Wanna marry me? She does, beautiful. Wedding in three days. Oh God, am I gonna have like 12 weddings in a single day? Oh, oh, looks like Sam is not too happy. Okay, hopefully that did not affect our uh, relationship with him at all. Nope, he still loves me, awesome. All right, let's sleep a couple days, get married, and then try again. Maybe, maybe he'll come to his senses. This cutscene is gonna get very old very quickly. Oh, and hey, look, Haley's here too. Both sisters finally living under the same roof again. You'll love to see it. But from this day forward, Nate is going to be as much of a part of this town as any of us. I mean, I run the town economy, repaired the destroyed building that had been sitting here for months, inject millions of dollars into the economy every single day, and I'm about to marry half the town. Yeah, I think I'm a part of this town, I'd say. Oh man, it is going to be tough for my guy to remember all of the anniversaries for everyone. Beautiful. We're husband and wife.
Wow, Marnie's so happy. Maybe she's happy that Shane will finally be leaving the house once she gets married. Yeah, the future looks very bright, if I don't mind saying. Oh, he's finally up for it. Awesome. You love to see it. Guess that means back home and sleeping for another couple days. Oh, great. We're back here again, and Emily and Haley are here. Oh, does Jody want to marry me too? I mean, there's probably a mod for that. I guess that can be arranged. Nice. And me and Sam are now married. Let's go. Marnie is still excited. I have a feeling she probably won't be too excited after the 10th wedding in a month with the same guy. Oh, and apparently it turns out that these rooms will just like infinitely expand. So uh, that is going to be very fun when we have the next half dozen people move in. I am way too excited. Let's keep going. I think the next logical candidate to join Cool Farm Farm is probably going to be Harvey, just in case, you know, someone gets like injured on the farm. We can have him right on hand to hopefully give us a hand and it and it looks like he is down. Awesome. This mod just keeps getting better and better. Emily and Sam are already clipping into each other. I am so excited to see the rest when we have the entire town married to us. Harvey has joined the gang. Let's go. We're probably gonna have enough people in my farm to start a sports team, so I guess we'll get the actual sports player next. That way we can we can start training, you know, and, and dominate the leagues. For whatever reason, Evelyn was not invited up to the stand, which is a little bit unfortunate. Kind of sad. Yippee! Another person married, and it looks like the people are just gonna keep stacking on the left side. I don't really want that, so... Well, maybe not, actually, because Haley's on the right now, but we'll see. Let's just keep marrying and see what happens. Okay, I just counted, and it looks like these rooms are now roughly around 40 mega bombs long. It's starting to, to get pretty long. It's actually quite a jog. I feel like these guys are probably feeling it too. And it looks like Harvey is um, not smart enough to figure out. Oh, wait, never mind. He walks through the table. Yeah, that's logical. I wouldn't like go around it. I'd just walk straight through it too, personally. And Harvey was supposed to walk out of that door, but he just vanished into the void. Cool, I guess. I want a magical husband too. And perfect. Just who I was looking for. Since apparently my spouses right now are not smart enough to know how to walk around a table. I think we need to get the smart one in town finally. And she's in. Perfect. Awesome. Three days. Yeah. Haven't heard that before. Oh yeah, that baby I agreed to. Cool. We're gonna have another person walk around in here. I think I've come up with a creative name for it and let me elaborate on it quickly. You're not gonna find anyone else doing Stardew Valley content like this. The challenges and the weird marriage stuff so you should really subscribe because i know for a fact you guys enjoy it don't try to hide it and i don't think you guys have any idea just how effective asking for people to subscribe is here's a video on screen where i didn't ask people to subscribe and here's a video on screen where i do ask people to subscribe it is literally and i mean literally 10 times more effective to ask you guys to subscribe but you don't have to if you enjoy the stuff of course that's the most important part it's down to you in the end that was me and maru's kid even though it was definitely Haley. I think the game is already bugging out a little bit. Oh, it looks like people are slowly migrating to the back row. That's very nice. I like how the audience is just getting smaller and smaller and Marnie is still just happily dancing away. Oh, since I cranked everyone up to 14 hearts, apparently I'm gonna start getting cutscenes now. Okay, just cause you're married to me doesn't mean you get free handouts, okay man? Yeah, yeah, whatever. I got, I got 40 mil in the bank, it's fine. Saloon on Sunday? Eh, I might be getting married then. We'll see if I stop by. Oh, we're getting another one right away. Okay, she wants 200 pieces of fiber. That is just so awesome. Looks like Alex and Maru were getting uh, very close, it seems, literally. I think we'll do my personal favorite next, actually. Leah is always my go-to spouse when I, like, don't marry the entire town. And Ola, as always, she accepts. Nice. Sam wants to talk. Uh, unfortunately, I don't care, Sam. Goodbye. No one cares about Sam. I'm sorry, Sam lovers. For whatever reason, there always just has to be two people like bugging on the side. I have no idea why. Although Sam and Haley kind of combine better because they have blonde hair. I will kiss my favorite wife since she is awesome and cool. But she's not that awesome and cool, so uh, let's go marry everyone else. The emo is our next target. I have a sneaking suspicion where he will be. I was right. And of course, he's in bed. Okay, I mean, to be fair, it is 7 a.m., but like, yeah, he's an emo. Of course, he's in bed. Okay, Sam wants to talk to me again. Dude, how many times do I have to tell you this? I don't want to talk to you, okay? Marnie still hasn't clued in that the entire town is getting stolen away from her. She's still just dancing away. Apparently, Haley has gotten a couple of new interests. She's now into crystals, lifting weights, and motorcycles. That is, um, interesting. To be honest, I don't think Elliot going will clue her in 
because he already never leaves this cabin. Okay, why does this guy keep talking to me? It's three times in a row, man. Wait, a boombox? Doesn't do anything, it literally just clicks. Thanks for the present, Sam. Backstage is finally filled, and that means that Leah and Emily will have to awkwardly stare at each other. All right, the gamer girl is next. Apparently, they draw the line at marriage, but dating? Oh yeah, that's just fine. Unfortunately, that leaves me with one option. I'm sorry. You gotta go. You too. I honestly have no idea where that's gonna put them, so I guess I'll just go look for them now. Uh, yeah, I'm good actually. Maybe she just sprinted straight home to her parents, I guess? Looks like, no. Seems they're just missing in action, so I guess I'll just marry someone else and sleep a day. Come here, come here, I have some beer for you, I have some beer. He fell for it, he always falls for it, I tell ya. Oh my god, Marnie is finally not gonna be dancing, oh my god. Cause she's up here with Shane, that's, that's insane. It's not gonna feel like an actual marriage without her dancing. That's so sad, what the hell, man. Oh, she teleported down and started dancing. I guess the game just sensed that it wouldn't be a true marriage without her, fair enough, I guess. So Sebastian is working on a plant right next to a chicken coop on top of a crystal. This man truly can do it all. All right, now we gotta find the two Miss Morals over there. Uh, I won't get married while I'm already married to someone else. Uh. Okay, to be honest, I've never been in here, but holy smokes, this is a nice house. I mean, I'm pretty sure it was more expensive than my house, so I guess that makes sense, but wow. You're lucky, man. I, I hope you know that. Not everyone would buy a house for you. I like how they still have the same kitchen. <laughs> they just kind of plucked the kitchen out of the trailer and put it right here. Okay, now she's in. Let's go, Penny. Okay, wait. Sam wants to play me a song, and Vincent and Jazz are here for some reason. I'm a little intrigued, Sam. I'll hear you out this time. Okay, fine. Unfortunately, I have my music turned off in-game, so, uh, never mind. Woohoo! Penny's in, too. Let's go. All right, just the gamer girl left. Um, you're not gonna be seeing a lot of your daughter from here on out, man. Just just wanted to let you know. I, I know you hate her because, like, she's not yours, but just want to give you a fair heads up. She accepts. Okay, we have one condition, though. You gotta bring the multiplayer Prairie King with you, please. It's so fun. Well, we can barely see someone has moved up to the third row because Pierre had to steal a spot like the jerk he is. We did it. I think we have more people than in the town now, so we should probably just take over the town and, like, I don't know, own all of Stardew Valley, I guess. Well, that was, uh, kind of stupid, to be honest. Holy smokes, man. It just keeps going. Shane is the only one missing, and of course he has the messiest room. Okay, if you enjoyed this video, check out the video on screen right now where I go homeless for a month. It was very enjoyable to make, and everyone who's watched it has said they thought it was pretty cool, so check it out right now. Thanks for watching, guys.